There's been a lot of disrespect by major brands toward African Americans and also African people throughout the world. We remember H and M with the sweatshirt, the coolest monkey in the jungle. We remember the Gucci incident just last week with the blackface sweater. Now we have Burberry, another brand decide on London fashion week this Sunday to send a model down a runway with a hoodie on. Well, this hoodie that this model's wearing, you'll put the picture up, they actually have a noose that's around the neck of the model. Now, when many people caught wind of this, they got very upset. And of course, they come out to me deeply sorry for sending out a model wearing a noose down a runway. I mean, do you guys really realize now they're not sorry first and foremost. They sorry, all right, but they're not apology sorry. You don't put nothing out like that on London Fashion Week without people from the top okaying this, okay? They can never piss on my leg and tell me it's rain with this. But many people are upset once again. This is have to be the response to us. Not only just, well, let's boycott. You, you can't just boycott. Okay. You have to not only boycott, you have to divest. And the third part, a black fashion revolution. Let me talk about that for a minute. We can't just say, don't wear a brand. What's happening right now is these brands are letting you know by their actions, we don't respect you. We don't even want your money. See at one point in time, we wanted your money. We don't even want your money. Stay away because anybody with sense would not ever go spend their money with Burberry after seeing that they wouldn't care about no apology. No other group would sit up there and, and allow anyone to disrespect them like that. That's why they get respect. I told you before, if black folks don't demand respect from people, they're never going to respect you. It's just that simple. The way the world works, everyone's a bully until you make them stop bullying you. It's just that simple. I don't care what they say about anything else, especially in a capitalist society. And most of the world is running on capitalism for the most part, especially in these European countries. Now, at one point in time, we wasn't wearing no Gucci. We wasn't wearing no Burberry, no, uh, uh any other brand. What we all were wearing. I remember when FUBU came out. And LL Cool J, he had made FUBU hot. And everybody was wearing FUBU, and I mean everybody. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, whatever, right? Then you had Puffy had his Sean John line. Then you had, uh, what's it, the Apple Bottoms that came out. All these different brands that black people came out with. Now, I was reading a post from Russell Simmons, and he was talking about how all these brands that everyone was wearing and in the white fashion industry, a lot of them have the same white supremacist attitudes. They didn't like that. So what happened is Russell explained that Macy's came in and bought up these brands and they bought up these brands just to cancel them. And Russell said they, a lot of the people who create these brands would just feel sick after that. See, we as black folk, okay. When we build something up, stop selling it. Why would you work so hard to build something up and then sell it? Of course, they're going to approach you with a lot of money you've never seen before. Of course. I mean, they, they bank on that. They will buy you out to shut you down. That's how they continue their reign of, of power. They, they don't like competition, okay? They don't. Because they have to compete, like on a fair level, they will lose. So they said, let's buy them out of the competition. Let's buy BET out. Because BET got a lot of good programming. And, and, and we don't want, want to compete with that. Let's buy that out. Let's turn it into just a ratchet central. Black people complaining about the Grammys. He was complaining that Jennifer Lopez sung the songs from Motown. Okay. We all know Jennifer Lopez have no range to be singing anything like that. We all know that she can barely carry a tune for what she uh, do in the studio. I know she is definitely heavily, um, Mix and master, right? But when you sell your record label to Universal Records, a white-owned company, 
And you say, oh, it was a black label, black music. It's not a black music at all. It is a white owned company now. Motown and all its properties belong to Universal. So you can, you can forget all that saying this is black music. It ain't no black music. See, it was black music when Barry Gordy owned it. And then Barry Gordy would say, man, I'm holding on to this. I'm not letting this go because this is a legacy that I built. Uh, we went through all this stuff uh, in the past with racism, white supremacy for Motown to be where it's at. I'm not going to let this go. I let it go broke before I sell it. Okay. These people never sell their things to us. They never do it. You remember when they uh, was trying to talk about an NFL team and, 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 and Puffy and a few other ones were trying to get together, hopefully to get in the NFL. They wouldn't let them in. They don't care about how much money we have. They don't let us in their things. But every time we sit up here and build something up, they offer us a, a check and we willingly give it to them. They don't steal it from you. You, you give it to them and you want the money. And then the legacy, sometimes some things are worth more than money. Legacy is worth more than money. You can't give me enough money when I build something that's a legacy. If you got the catalog of Motown, why would you sell that? Why? It's, it's, it's legendary music. So if they want to turn around and make Motown albums all over again, and they want Justin Timberlake to do them, you can't get mad about it. Why? You look at Barry Gordy and say, why did you sell that to Universal? So it's not black anymore. It's theirs. When you buy something from somebody, let's say somebody buy a car from you. Now it's your car. You could change the color. You could change the, the tires. You could change the interior. You could change whatever. No one can come back that you uh, bought the car from and say, hey, why did you change my, my car to look like that? Say, uh, it's not your car. It's my car. I bought it. I changed the way I want. It's the same thing with the Motown thing. Anything that you sell to them or anybody else, once it's theirs, they can change it. That's why you say, I don't like BET. This is BET is this, BET is that. Yeah, because it's not owned by black people. It's not, it is theirs. So that's what we need to get in our head. Stop selling everything. Understand the power of legacy. Now let's talk about this fashion. Instead of complaining about this, I'm happy about this. I'm happy, I'm happy at Burberry. I thank Burberry for putting this out. Now you may say, why, Philip? Why are you happy at Burberry? I'm happy because I know black people. I know what it takes for your creative juices to get going. I know that you work better under pressure. You don't work good when you lax. I know that. And what these fashion brands have shown you, showing the rappers and everybody else, they don't want you. So now since they've shown you they don't want you, pull that creativity out of your heart and out of your mind. Come up with some fashion. Come up with some shoes, wallets, purses. Come up with, with new styles. Come up with something that's great. And reach out to people like myself and many other people who are on social media who's on here every single day. And say, hey, I got a brand. You know, Let's talk about it. Let's look at what you got. Shoot, I'm willing to take a day or two out and, and wear a, a, a certain design of shirt. I mean, I wear suits all the time. Where y'all brothers at that have a suit companies? Dress shirts. Where y'all brothers at? I'm on here all the time. I, I don't hear from y'all. Okay? Um, you got t-shirt companies. We got black designers right now. I have no problem putting on anything that you guys have so I can push that to the people and, and to make sure we go push it. You got enough inventory so it can be shipped out worldwide. I don't think I'm telling you. Make sure you got enough. But let's go ahead on and start pushing these brands. Like LL Cool J wore FUBU everything and FUBU got hot off of LL Cool J. Why can't we as content creators wear all these different brands, promote their websites, promote everything, and get these brands hot? Because you know, good and well, what we do as black folks, we can make a brand hot and we can crash a brand. Only thing I'm saying is Gucci needs to be canceled. Burberry needs to be canceled. H&M should have been canceled. Any one of them that dare disrespect us should not get our dimes. Now, are all black people gonna follow that model? No. But the black people that got sense, the black people that got self-respect for themselves, male and female, and even people that say, you know what, that's just not right what they're doing. They're being openly racist, and I can't support nothing like that. You could join it too. It's no problem. Anybody could join this. It only has to be just black people. Anybody who see that this isn't right, but especially black people, let's have a fashion revolution. Let's make black fashion great like it used to be, right? 
you know, we had all kind of fashion, cross colors and, and uh, Carl Kanai and all kind of different ones that we had in the past. I know y'all still out here creating. You can't tell me you're not creating. I got a brand from a sister right here sitting next to me actually that I bought from her because I made a promise that I was going to buy some merchandise from her when I saw her in LA. I'm going to wear it on here and tell you exactly what it is. It'd be a little different for y'all seeing me wear something like that, but you know what? I support my brothers. I support my sisters. That's how it works. So they can get their brands up. That's how I feel about that. Let's do something about it. Let's not just complain. I'm not for complaining. Y'all always talking about what's the solution. That's the solution right there. Get to start creating clothes, start creating everything. Same thing about the hair industry. Instead of complaining about the, the Asians and what they're doing, start um, opening shops, start creating products, start doing all these things on our own. The sister, like say with the blacknaps.org, that sister I interviewed, you create products, you can sell it on her website. She got a marketplace. You get what I'm saying? What we need to do for ourselves now. We can't just keep pointing out the racism in which I will point it out but we pointed out to make a difference and to change things. Let's do something about it. Let's not just keep talking about it and complaining. Cause I'm not, I don't surround myself with people that complain all the time. I don't surround myself with people that don't believe in solutions. I don't, I refuse to, because it's not going to help me. That's not going to help us. So let's have that black fashion revolution. Designers email me. Y'all, my email is there. Email me. Let's just put in there black fashion and let's have a conversations about that. Let's talk about it. Make sure your website is up and running. Let's make sure you're ready for it. Now don't just badly get started and say, Oh, well, I don't have enough shirts. Some of you already got shirts going on. Some of you got full websites. Now is your time. Take the place of the Gucci, take the place of the Burberry, take the place in it. And this, uh, black people throughout the world. I don't care if you said African clothing. I don't care what you're selling black people throughout the world. That's make that black fashion. Great. It's not just relegated to the shores of America. It's not. Let's, let's bring that, that fashion up from all over the world that we are creating. We don't need a fashion week for nothing. We got our own fashion that we can do every day. Let Burberry and Gucci inspire you to bring out that fashion, that, that creation, you know, the colors that we create, you know, the, the styles we create, we create new styles. Like it ain't nothing. Let's start innovating again. And when these folks come to you and want to buy your designs and buy your company say no, because I know good and well is 10 times more than what you want to buy it for. Go create your own designs. And you try to steal my designs. I'm gonna sue you because Gucci was always trying to steal designs who they stole the design from Dapper Dan and they got called out on it. This is what we have to do as a people. See, they, they, they trying to move us out and you always, we always talking about how we being replaced. No, that's a good thing because it's going to force you to do something that they can't do. See, yeah, you being replaced when you depend on somebody, stop depending on other people. Everything is in you to make you successful and to make the world successful. It's already in you. We talk about how we built civilizations. We built America. Well, well why can't you rebuild again? Who's stopping you from rebuilding? Separate yourself from people that got excuses. Don't be around the negative, you know, uh, people keep them away from you and let's create again, but email me. Let, let's, let's talk about this black fashion revolution. We got to have it. These people that told us they don't want us no more. Good. Let's, let's put our money into the hands of some black designers. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with Burberry. I'm serious about that. I'm very serious. Let's have this black fashion revolution. Let's innovate the world. Like we know how to do as black folks. We've been doing it for thousands of years. Why can't we do it once again in 2019?